James, welcome to the digital scene here at DB Expo 2009. Thanks very much. Now, uh, James, you're with Sony, right? Correct. Obviously, but that's why, otherwise you wouldn't be carrying that little Sony <laughs> thing there. <laughs> right. Um, so, tell us a little bit about that product you have on hand there. Uh, this is the new Sony mobile storage unit. Uh, model name is PXU MS240. Um, this is a uh, remote offloading device for the SBIS cards um, that we have currently on our EX camera uh, camcorder line. Uh, it's for use for the field, uh, it's self-contained, self-powered with a camcorder battery, um, and it comes with a uh, removable hard disk cartridge. Um, the cartridge ejects from here. The cartridge itself is 240 gigabytes. It'll hold 13 hours at the highest 35 megabits per second setting, or it'll hold 17 hours at the 25 megabits per setting. So let's talk a little bit about the workflow. Sure. You uh, take, for example, I'm shooting with the EX1, I'm Correct. sure you recognize that. Yep. I take my 16 gigabyte uh, S by S card, plug it into there. Correct. Offload it to the drive. Correct. And then can I reformat it from there? Do I need to bring it back in? If you'd like, you can actually delete There's it from the unit, sure. Okay. It'll has a copy function, you can copy it only. Okay. And that takes about 10 times real time. So if it's a 32 gigabyte card, which is 100 minutes at the highest setting, it'll transfer it in 10 minutes, so 10 times real time. Okay. If you chose to go copy and verify, it'll verify the data as it's transferring, and that takes five times real time, so it'll take about 20 minutes for that same 100 minutes. And I'm assuming that's really the recommended uh, thing to do right. if it's important video, Correct. right? Correct, sure, sure. So you're shooting. Yeah. Okay, so you take it, you store it in there, and um, now you have what each gig, each card is 32 gig, let's say Correct. 32 gig. So you can store, uh, what's that, my math is failing me here, about seven cards in there. Correct. Right? About, that's correct. About seven cards. Um, so you just keep offloading to that? So you would carry this, let's say, on the set? You can carry it on the set or you can carry it remotely if you're in an off-site location where you don't have power, you don't have a laptop, or you don't want to bring a laptop or a standard off-the-shelf hard disk drive, you can take it. It's all self-contained. The battery that's used in this is the same battery, same battery. as the EX camera yeah. that you're using now. Um, so it's interchangeable. What, what's the interface to hook up to the computer? What it is, is a eSATA connection, oh, which is on the side, uh, okay. side here, which is basically the fastest speed available today. And um, Now, what about for the portable machines that don't have eSATA? Do you need to get, like, uh, Express 34 card? They ESATA? have an Express card adapter you can put okay. into your laptop right. that has an eSATA replicator. And you can utilize that. Or it has USB out as well. Oh, it does have USB. Yeah, it takes a little so longer, it's but it's longer, USB out. But you right. can transfer it. Correct. And transferring, I'm assuming, it's just like another drive. It's just drag and drop. Correct. Okay. Yes. So this becomes, you said it's 240 gigs, so is it one drive you see on your computer? Or? Uh, when the way the drive is developed or produced, it's uh, three 80 gigabyte partitions. Okay. The EX camera can only recognize 80 gigabytes at a time. So it is partitioned. You can eliminate the partitions, but if you do that, it doesn't allow you viewing capabilities on the camcorder, which you might want to do in the field. You want to look back at your clips that you've transferred at the end of the day um, off the hard drive itself. Oh, you can plug that into the EX1 Correct. through what interface? There is a uh, tether line that comes from the mini USB, okay. and it comes out. It's kind of a dummy express card that goes into the A or B slot, to the, and you're reading to it the directly. To the card slot. Correct. And then you can, oh, you then can do it's the clips. just like, a, it's, it's a slot A or slot B. Correct. Basically. Exactly. Oh, Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. So, but but it'll be unlimited. It'll be the 240 gigs, right? Right. I see. Interesting. And uh, this works on, I'm assuming, Mac PC. It doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah. And what's the cost? Uh, right now, the street price, we're yeah. looking at about $1,800. $1,800. And who do you see that to be your target market? I mean, obviously, EX Cam users, but I mean, are independent filmmakers on set? I mean, how do you see this? Yeah, independent filmmakers would utilize this if they might have a multiple camera shoot, meaning different formats. They might have an EXD Cam uh, HD format, but they might need a smaller camera for their dailies or things that they can't really get that large camcorder into that environment and it has been used on quite a few movies uh, wet, uh, wedding videographers um, music videos uh, is one of the big things that's happening now because of the format and the time that they get to market quicker now you said it runs on the battery of the camera can you plug it into the wall as well yes you can, can it you actually comes with an AC adapter okay. with adapter as well I was say, can you use the one that comes with you the can Sony use the same one that comes with the camcorder and also the battery charger that charges the battery I see okay now, the battery good. will last for about two and a half cartridges worth of transferring if you did it constantly. So right now it's 240 gigs. Do you see uh, you guys expanding it to more than that? Yeah, it'll probably naturally move up to the next capacities. Maybe it'll be a 480 and then maybe go up to a terabyte as hard disk drives 
uh, their volume increases in terms of capacity. Now these aren't just hard drives, these cartridges, right? So they're yes. really not, it's, they're not recommended for archival purposes. Uh, I'm sorry, for hybrid? For archival purposes. Uh, some people will archive these. It actually comes or will be stored in a case, which looks very similar to a tape case. I see. So, uh, you know, it comes in a plastic case. Some folks will so actually use it. for the people that don't want to let go of tape, you've right. got the case. You've got the case for it. <laughs> you know, in the case of a videographer, a wedding videographer, they may not edit right away. They may put it on the shelf for three months. Once the season dies down, they go back to edit. So it might be a short-term archive. I see. Interesting. Um, okay, sounds good. If people want to find out more about it, James, where do they go? They can go to our website. It's www.sony.com slash promedia, and you can see some information on the website. And give that model number one more time. It is a PXU MS240, and if you're looking for the cartridge by itself, it is PXU HC240. It can be sold separately. Fantastic, James. Very good to meet you. Thank you very much.